How did Dior's fascinating dress worn by Charlize Theron get ruined at the Oscars? How did Gwyneth Paltrow try to imitate Grace Kelly and fail? And how did Lady Gaga gracefully pay homage to Audrey Hepburn? Hi, my name's Peter, and here are the top seven best and worst dresses ever worn to the Oscars. Grace Kelly. Some of them may not be the prettiest or the most elegant, but they're still the most iconic outfits ever worn to the Oscars red carpet. Grace Kelly is the epitome of elegance and class. For her 1955 red carpet look, the princess-to-be of Monaco chose a fascinating pastel seafoam sheath gown designed by Edith Head. The actress wore that dress to accept the Oscar for Best Actress for the movie The Country Girl. She couldn't look any more sophisticated wearing white satin semi-formal evening gloves. Gwyneth Paltrow Gwyneth's pretty and pink caused a huge stir among fashion critics. Some called it one of the most iconic Oscar outfits inspired by Grace Kelly's youthful elegance, while others, including Paltrow's mother, hated it to their guts. Gwyneth wore a Ralph Lauren pink satin ball gown to the Oscars in 1999, where she gave her infamous crying speech while receiving the Best Actress Academy Award. We think that Gwen's dress choice wasn't the massive disaster, but rather the size of it. It looked like the bodice wasn't customized for Gwyneth and the straps could fall down at any minute. This ill-fitting gown wasn't a one-time failure. After the 2002 Oscars, Hollywood Reporter harshly reacted to her look in the Alexander McQueen gown, saying, Paltrow decided to pass on both a stylist and a bra. Despite the criticism, the gown was recreated by Alan Schwartz, a well-known American copyist of low-priced Oscar dresses, which resulted in a boom of imitation pink prom dresses. Lady Gaga we reckon that Lady Gaga drew some inspiration for her 2019 Oscars dress from one of the biggest screen legends. Mama Monster won the Best Original Song Award for her song, Shallow. And besides her romantic duet with Bradley Cooper, Gaga made headlines with her astonishing outfit. Honoring the exquisite tradition of vintage looks, Gaga won black kidskin opera gloves. Her black Alexander McQueen dress was absolutely dramatic, yet pretty restrained compared to her usual outfit choices. She went full Audrey Hepburn mode with her Breakfast at Tiffany inspired hairstyle and a 128.54 carat diamond from Tiffany & Co. The diamond has been available for the public eye at big ceremonies only three times throughout its 142 year long history. Who wore it the other time? Well, Audrey Hepburn, of course. Charlize Theron. Charlize's cinnamon bun design failure surprisingly has a very long and disappointing history. As the face of Dior, Theron wore a purple Dior gown that was originally designed by John Galliano for his Spring Haute Couture collection for Dior's 2010 show. Christian Dior was heavily inspired by designer Charles James, whose works were all about volume, texture and over-the-top ball gowns. John Galliano paid tribute to the talented designer in his collection and created a fascinating gown that was later destroyed by stylists. Because Galliano's design was only made for the runway, there was no chance that Charlize would be able to sit down with a huge bow knot on her back. The dress had to be readjusted. They took down the volume from the back, and when they apparently realized that the heavy bodice destabilized the proportions, they had to get rid of that too. So the entire idea of the gown was absolutely destroyed, and frankly, there was no need for the flat cinnabons. They demand attention only to highlight that there is no volume underneath it whatsoever. This is a story of how one stylistic misjudgment can ruin the entire work of a renowned artist. Audrey Hepburn Her white floral Givenchy gown is forever in the Oscars Dresses Hall of Fame. Audrey won the Best Actress Award for Roman Holiday in 1954. Givenchy became the most desirable maison de couture soon after Hepburn made us fall in love with it. Hubert de Givenchy designed a classic Oscars dress with a boat neckline, which Audrey loved so much because, according to her, it made her shoulders look more narrow. Givenchy designed outfits for seven of Audrey's most outstanding movies, including the iconic black dress, and made the actress the official Givenchy ambassador. A Givenchy representative confirmed that Emma Stone was the first lead actress to win an Oscar wearing Givenchy since Audrey Hepburn did 63 years ago. Emma's gold a la 20s chic slip dress was Ricardo Tichy's last design for Givenchy. This retro-fringed hem, in concert with the classy embellished bodice, was more than a decent final piece of art made for the house by Tichy. Jennifer Lopez 
The ado with haute couture dresses worn outside of the runway means that the whole look has to be polished and carefully thought out, otherwise it'll just look weird. And it looks like Jennifer's stylist didn't take that into consideration. For the 2010 Oscars, Lopez chose an Armani Privé haute couture icy pale pink gown. But the extra layers of cloth gushing out on the left side of her mermaid style dress didn't suit Lopez very much. There's no doubt that Lopez has amazing curves, but this extra pile of cloth garnished with Swarovski rock crystals ruined her silhouette, making her look shorter and widened her curves. It just doesn't look good on a curvy girl. Her messy hair was also out of place and didn't fit the cosmic look Giorgio Armani wanted in his 2010 spring collection. Doesn't look like a proper 2001 A Space Odyssey to us. Jason Momoa Jason Momoa's iconic pink suit was also its creator's last piece, but for a much more tragic reason. Karl Lagerfeld passed away just six days before the world saw the custom-designed velvet tuxedo that Karl designed working his last couture collection for Fendi. Momoa fell in love with Fendi's pink scrunchie that he wore to the night, by the way, and asked the designer to make a whole scrunchie-inspired outfit for the 2019 Oscar night. Jason and his wife Lisa Bonet made a sweet tribute video to Carl, explaining the story of his tuxedo. It was bold, stylish, and definitely one of the most extraordinary men's looks in Oscars history. Faith Hill There's always a certain outfit for a certain event, and it looks like Faith has no faith in that. The country singer looked like she had a fun day at the beach and decided to stop by the Oscars on her way back home to perform Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Sorry for that. For the 2002 ceremony, Hill wore a Versace slip dress and satin blue prom diables. The outfit looked especially weird in contrast to the tuxedos and evening gowns surrounding Faith on the carpet. But that wasn't the only disaster on the red carpet that night. Just keep watching. Zoe Saldana Speaking of creative choices, we have to honor Zoe Saldana and Gavonchi's majestic purple ombre dress. In 2010, Zoe astonished the audience with a column dress with countless floating layers of tulle and a sparkling bodice. Very daring and yet elegant at the same time. Cameron Diaz It's pretty disappointing, but Cameron was Faith's partner in crime during the 2002 Oscars. Just by taking a quick look, experienced fashion lovers will recognize the distinctive vibes of Emmanuel Ungaro, despite the messy look. First of all, the silk dress already had plenty of detail, like the big floral prints and a Dornished belt, and yet Cameron decided to enhance it with her jewelry and motley clutch bag. On top of that, Diaz spent much time thinking about her hairstyle and decided to go with a hippie bun. Although the dress screams hippie, the silky texture of the dress requires a more elaborate hairstyle to complete the couture look. Julia Roberts Julia Roberts, in contrast, decided to keep it classy and picked the no less iconic designer Valentino. This black sheath gown with the elegant Y-shaped white stripe in the front is actually a vintage dress that Valentino designed back in 1992 and had to pull it out from the archives for Julia. Wow, talk about a dramatic revival of the classic Hollywood style. World acclaimed fashion critics Debenhams labeled her look as the third most iconic red carpet dress of all time. And you'll never believe it, but Roberts keeps her dress in a box just under her bed for someone special. That lucky girl is her daughter Hazel, who will inherit her mother's vintage Valentino gown one day. We bet it's going to cost a fortune. Bjork But enough with the elegance. Time for some mind-blowing ballet companies. Turn on Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake medley, because Bjork and her famous Marjan Pajowski dress are entering the red carpet. In 2001, this bizarre dress caused massive debates in the media. Well, some may argue it's beauty, but no one will deny that it's one of the most iconic Oscars outfits that we remember to this day. The Valentino recreated this dress for his spring 2014 couture fashion show. What are the proof of its significance does one need? Bjork had two copies of the dress made because it couldn't be taken to the dry cleaners. The second copy was later auctioned off for the international aid agency Oxfam for nine and a half thousand dollars in 2005. Angelina Jolie Back on the track of elegancy, you definitely remember Angelina Jolie's astonishing power pose in a black class Versace dress. With a hand on her hip and her stretched bare leg, Angelina not only generated the Angie's right leg Twitter hashtag and a bunch of memes, 
but also made a powerful statement about how beautiful and sexy a woman's confidence is. Her and Brad's appearance, hand in hand in 2012, will forever be one of the most spectacular Oscar red carpet appearances. Angelina Jolie Surprisingly, Angelina is on our list twice for both the best and worst outfit worn at the Academy Awards. It was a big night for Angelina because she won the Best Supporting Actress Award for Girl Interrupted, but also because her Morticia Adams dress has forever entered the hall of Oscar's worst looks. Angelina wore a gothic sheath black dress with long sleeves designed by Donatella Versace and slicked her black hair back. Her ultra-gothic hairstyle was pretty messy, which made her look pretty grim and had no unique touch whatsoever. That would probably be a cool outfit for a Halloween party, but definitely not for a fancy Oscars night. There are so many other fascinating outfits, including Halle Berry wearing Ellie Saab's partially sheer floral gown, or Anne Hathaway's statuesque Armani Privé gown, and some disastrous outfits shockingly worn by Sarah Jessica Parker, Salma Hayek, and the South Park creators? Thank goodness Billy Porter showed us what proper drag is in 2019. What do you guys think about our list? Let us know your favorite best and worst outfits ever worn at the Oscars in the comments below. And, of course, don't forget our Oscars 2020 outfit review is coming pretty soon. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay awesome.